uh, terrorism and uh, systematic torture, racial discrimination and the violation of the basic fundamental rights of ethnic minorities is on the rise where racial profiling of Pashtun has become a norm. Pashtun language has been removed from educational curriculum of Khyber Pashtun It is prohibited to speak Pashtun in government offices and institutions. Instead of resolving the grievances of Pashtuns, Pakistan has blocked the identity card of Manzoor Ahmad Pashtun, head of the PTM, uh, put him on exit control list in violation of the constitution, he is barred from entering Bajor, Norman, or a day agency in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Kashmir, and Kilkit, Pakistan, and Baluchistan within Pakistan. Now, I would like to invite our next speaker, Sadar Nasir Aziz, who is the central spokesperson of UKPNP, a very strong voice of Kashmiri people, his calm personality with impeccable academic credentials and strong commitment for Kashmir cause at international level has gained supporters for Kashmir from around the world. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, dear Afridi Sahib. You have doing a tremendous job at United Nations and at international forums. I congratulate Malik Bazai Sahib. He is elected as a coordinator of PTM to European Union chapter. He is a very dynamic, he is very energetic, and he has been participating in organizing events at Belgium and different places in Europe under the banner of PTM. I also congratulate Manzoor Pashtin. He is the true son of soil. He is a brave leader of Pashtun nation who stood against Hakesh and extremist forces. He is bravely and boldly raising the issues of Pashtuns. Pashtun Tafas movement at name says they are demanding the protection. This is the fundamental right of each and every person that he or she should have right of life, right of liberty, and they should be protected. But this is unfortunate. The Islamic Republic of Pakistan, after the when World War II was finished, British left India and Pakistan was created in the name of Islam and the Kashmiris were the first victim of this state aggression. Pakistan invaded state of Jammu and Kashmir on 22nd October 1947 and killed thousands of innocent Kashmiris. Since 1947 we are divided and Kashmiris are suffering on both sides of the so-called line of control which divides over motherland. In 1948, Pakistan invaded Kalat state and forcibly annexed Balochistan into Pakistan. And she continues in 70s, 80s, start radicalization of the Pashtun youth. They have gathered extremists and fundamentalists across the globe, especially Muslim world. They trained them to fight against Soviet Union. It was the project of international powers and Pakistan was the plan and parcel of that project and Pashtun youth was badly used. They were brainwashed and sent into Afghanistan and they lost their lives. Hundreds of thousands innocent people died, millions displaced and still Pashtuns are suffering since 1979. After the withdrawal of Soviet Union from Afghanistan, Pakistan continue its expansionist designs and they start promoting Taliban and Taliban seized power in 1966 in Afghanistan and Pakistan was celebrating that over assets, over child, they took control of Afghanistan and it is our big, big victory. When 9-11 happens, 
United States and NATO asked Pakistan, are you are with us or with Taliban? Then military general Parvind Sharaf decided to cooperate with United States and they said that we are with you, war on terror. They have been pretending that they are ally of NATO and United States on war on terror and they were giving shelter and support to extremist groups and Bin Laden was eliminated in Aftabad. It is open secret. They were hiding him. They were giving them support and interest, interestingly there is a not a single high profile terrorist was killed ever by Pakistan. If they have killed any person, it, this is not in my knowledge, I never seen anybody who a high profile terrorist was killed by Pakistan and they were getting billions of dollars in the aid from NATO and US. When again after the withdrawal of United States from Afghanistan, Pakistan celebrates the victory of Taliban in Afghanistan and says that our assets again seize power in Afghanistan and we have defeated United States. It shows the duplicity of Pakistan and its policies. We all, whether they are Pashtun, Baloch, Sindhis, Kashmiris are the victim of the policies of Pakistan and we believe unless Pakistan doesn't change its narrative of taunting youth and children the education of hatred, extremism and terrorism there can be no peace in South Asia or part of Afghan border or in the world because we live in global village People travel across the globe and they are, have brainwashed youth and now they are in third generation. They started in 70s and third generation is emerging and this is not so easy. It is the moral duty of international communities, especially United Nations and all other, other powers to put pressure on Pakistan make Pakistan accountable to change its narrative of promoting, exporting and supporting terrorism. Recently in Bagh, Azad Kashmir, Pakistani occupied Kashmir, 22 teenager boys are disappeared, forcibly taken by the banned terrorist organizations for the training purposes. Lately they will send them to Kashmir for the so-called jihad. We Kashmiris, Pashtun, Buloch, Sindhis are secular people. We believe in humanity, peace and democratic norms. We are not the part and parcel of these Pakistani theofascist policies. We strongly oppose, we stand with Pashtuns. We fully support Pashtun Tafas movement for their peaceful struggle. They are the true leader, they are the true representative of the Pashtun nations because we are historical nations and Pakistan has no right to forcibly occupy our areas, exploit our resources and we, we know that international community and state doesn't believe in morality, they are, they are doing businesses, they are doing trade with the state to state but we are requesting to international community, international human rights organizations to put pressure on Pakistan and ask her to stop its policies of the destruction and bloodshed we are suffering since 1947. Pashtun are suffering, Bloch are suffering, Sindhis are suffering, each and every same person who believe in humanity, peace and democratic norms, they are the target of the Pakistani state and she should change its policies to make that region because this is the matter of the life of the millions of people. This is not a matter of one or two or three person. It, it is the matter of billions of people in that region. And I thank you for giving me this opportunity and I congratulate. And we are proud of each and every person who is here. You are the true ambassador of your nations. You can 
convey your messages, your grievances to international community and each and every person should play its role to promote peace and stability in that region. I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much, and I must have been fine for your excellent remarks of the speech. Um, I would like to inform you that uh, uh, the Biden coordinator of BGM in Europe is uh, presiding over this meeting, so at the end he will have some concluding remarks. Uh, I would like to inform you that the reason uh, for these uh, uh, human rights abuses and the impunity that is, uh, the state of Pakistan is committing these abuses is due to non-execution of justice and not a single person or institution has been made accountable or charged by the court of the courts of Pakistan for these crimes. Ethnic minorities like Pashtuns have lost trust in the legal system of Pakistan when we witness that a former Prime Minister of Pakistan cannot register an FIR against those ISI officers who tried to assassinate him, then how can the ethnic minorities like Pashtun can get justice in that country? So the only reason for us for independence or our right to self-determination is that there is no institution in Pakistan. It has become a banana republic of Pakistan. So it's better to be independent of this state. Now I'd like to invite 